bloody fantastic. Hey, hello everybody, my name is Goodboy, and welcome to a video on why Visage of All Heroes is totally OP right now in this patch. So I have had a series of emails coming in from different fans saying, hey man, I've just started spamming Visage and had a really good time. And so I finally decided to investigate and after pulling some numbers, I made an alarming discovery. Visage, if played mid, is quite literally one of the, is the best mid core hero across the entire meta, ranging from 2.3k all the way up to 5k plus, completely destroying it. And recently, Arteezy's mid-visage summed it up all for us with giant kill potential throughout the entire game and making him absolutely scary in terms of actually getting yourself lots of kills. So the particulars vary, but it is a, it is basically a 6% win rate, more or less across the board, even in high skill. So normally you don't see these kind of disparities, but even in high skill as a mid-visage, it comfortably boasts a near 60% win rate. It's really quite staggering, a very impressive um, uh, win rate to have for sure. And what we've got to look at is 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 why. Um, but the reassuring thing here is not only is it good in 5k plus, is also Visage is also insanely good at the lower skill brackets as well. So that's a nice little silver lining there for everybody who might be thinking, oh great, pros only. So let's break it down and let's look at it. So first off, let's look at change logs. So in 7.0, Visage turned, turned up and was pretty awesome. Saw a pretty insane win rate and generally was considered to be a bit over leveled, particularly with the talents. So what do they do in 7.01? They nerf those familiars. And they also reduce some base attack damage, etc, etc. But since 7.01, so we're going back quite a long way, um, Visage has actually been very steadily nerfed. Talents were adjusted. Familiar's health was increased. Uh, Grave Chill's duration was improved. Uh, strength gain was improved. Uh, the cooldown for uh, for some of Familiar's was reduced. And the Grave Chill mana cost was reduced in 7.06e. So those are some pretty solid unilateral buffs. Because what happened was, it was basically, in 7.0, Visage was just that little bit too OP. So like, cool, well, let's bring it down a notch. So they did, and it actually totally took a Visage off the ball, uh, off the boil. But then they've steadily been nerfing uh, Visage up again, and now it's come back with a raging fury. Generally speaking, if you play Visage outside of the mid lane, he actually doesn't perform very well. So only really played as a mid core that we see Visage do silly, silly broken level plays. And why is that? Basically because if Visage is going to be effective as a core, um, he needs those early levels, uh, massive farm, uh, in order to have an insane early to mid game impact. And in particular, Visage is sort of um, personified in the, in the mid game um, and has insane kill potential and pick off, um, but does lots of cool stuff. So what are the kind of the, the things that make Visage pretty mad? Um, so there's a couple of things. Visage naturally offers a nice nice bit of slowdown and nuke damage from the rather fantastic Soul Assumption and Grave Trill. But it's actually those familiars that makes Visage really quite mad. Um, they do a lot of damage. They disable. They can make themselves immune. Um, they also work when Visage is dead. And that's kind of a big thing, is that Visage can actually still kill people and even farm while dead, which is silly in a way. Um, <laughs> so that's that's pretty big right there. The other big thing as well is though, the, the familiars do a huge amount of physical damage. So Visage is not only a nuker, uh, a hero that slows you down, but also does tremendous levels of physical damage. So playing Visage can be a little bit, in terms of your itemization, slightly counterintuitive in the sense it's like, okay, so I'm playing at mid core, with large amounts of nuke damage and also large amounts of physical damage. Hmm, how do I itemize for this sort of stuff? So there are some pretty popular and also pretty effective items that sort of work reasonably well. Bearing in mind you've got multiple units, that kind of uh, is sort of pretty notable there. Obviously in the early game, sort of mana regen, sustain, magic stick, blah, 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 blah. All really good, but, but critically, 
you're going to want a kind of a mixture of uh, that lovely sustain and mobility, but also armor reduction. So, for example, a Blightstone can fare pretty well in the early game that works very nicely. But kind of some major core items are Hand of Midas to make you into an effective core. Aghanim Scepter to give you a third familiar, making you even more scary and even more OP. And then stuff like the Salt Grass, which actually buffs your familiars. Uh, and sort of aura carrying can work very, very nicely. Um, Arteezy as well does enjoy dabbling with several items, uh, including Bloodthorn and also a Medallion. Again, all these armor reduction abilities so that those familiars, when they burst you down, really dish out that massive level of damage. So, you know, it, it's, it, yeah, it's, uh, it's pretty insane. Uh, and, and like I say, it's a whole roaming gank kill potential that makes Visage, uh, scary. Scary to say the least. Now, in terms of countering again, Visage, um, tends to fare pretty well against heroes like Necrophos, uh, Invoker, Tinker, uh, Skyrath Mage, who's actually seeing a nice little resurgence, and of course, Pudge. Uh, again... The main issue that, that Visage does is any hero that's um, particularly like Necrophos that likes to dabble in between being, you know, immune to physical damage and then being immune to, uh, and then being sort of less vulnerable to nuke damage, Visage kind of counters them either way. So if as soon as he pops Ghost Shroud in, boom, soul assumption. Slow them down. Aha, great, you've gone back to physical. Great, familiars incoming and burst the guy down. So actually, Necrophos has a really, really tough time because Visage has the answer to all. And then generally, any kind of low armor hero or hero that is um, going to struggle with mobility, so an Invoker mid ten, generally tends to quite a low mobility, is going to really, really struggle with the Grave Chill because it's quite a long slow and gives the familiars and our dearest Visage to nuke you down. So it's, it's, it's pretty scary stuff, to be fair. The kind of heroes that generally counter Visage are those with extreme tanky robustness like Medusa or Bristleback. Or, you know, yeah, those kind of heroes. And basically, they're not amazingly, don't get me wrong, they are kind of meta, but they're not amazingly meta right now, which kind of give Visage another double advantage, which is like, cool, well, tanks aren't really in. Uh, so, awesome, I'll just go around picking everyone off and killing them. So that's, that's, that's pretty nice there as well. So I suppose my sort of final reflections on Visage in terms of like the OP nature that is oh, that is Visage um, is, like I say, Visage is highly versatile and offers you quite a lot of different things all at once, ranging from, like I say, disable, physical, nuke damage, pretty much everything. But the thing that makes Visage actually really quite fun is the roaming gank potential is through the roof. Um, Visage, like I say, with highly versatile, can push, can defend, can gank. It all kind of fits in really nicely. But like I say, with such an early to mid game, insane presence. And like, don't be wrong, Visage can scale very nicely late into the, into the late game as well. I'm not ruling that out. I'm just saying, you know, um, Visage is actually really quite fun to play. And like I say, in terms of like the technical skill difference, a really high skill player is going to know how to micro those familiars really, really well. But as luck would have it, even if you're low skill, for example, it's still relatively easy to command and control. Fine, you're going to feed familiars a bit more. Fine, you're not going to always land them perfectly right, you know, and you're not going to manage to chain stun them very, very easily. Again, hit the tab key, that helps a lot. Um, and so those kind of micro skills can be difficult. But to be honest, you don't massively have, need to have them in order to be effective with Visage. Because again, if you're getting your farm off, um, and again, the enemy actually struggles to deal with the familiars anyway in lower skill brackets. Um, luckily, you can just kind of come in and usually given all the massive burst damage and all the nukes, physical damage, so on and so forth, you can get away with just group stunning anyway and pretty much secure your kills regardless. And that's quite a nice little thing there. Lastly, just to kind of talk about the... Uh, the talent tree, as it were. The talent tree does make a difference, but there are a few pitfalls that you should look out for. At level 10, generally going for the XP gain over the gold per minute is actually better. 
Nine in gold per minute is okay, but based on your actual killing potential and the fact that Visage actually needs a huge amount of levels and experience to really come online, that 30% XP game is actually a better choice. While most people would usually go for the damage over the cast range at level uh, at level 15, what a lot of people tend to actually go is for the Soul Assumption Double Strike, which is again pretty good in a team fight or certain situations, but usually you're taking down a hero. And Visage is actually physically quite weak, so going for the 300 health is actually better. And then fortunately, most people make the right choice at level 25, where the plus 120 familiar's movement speed, which just is beautiful for them, those flying psycho birds, because often they get picked off too quickly, and being able to evade attacks works really nicely. But do you know what the biggest thing about it is? You can actually chase people down and kill them. Anyway, everybody, I will be doing more stuff on uh, Visage coming up soon, but I really recommend you play it before Visage probably gets nerfed in the next patch. Thank you so much for watching. This is Good Boy. Please give the video a like. Please subscribe and share. Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.